In this video, we'll understand the difference between life and extract. Now, as the name says life, it will be connected to your life current data and extract. It takes a snapshot of your previous data. Now, suppose if you have the data available, definitely you will be using this life connection. But sometimes there are some scenarios where don't you, you don't want to use the live connection, live data, but you want to use data which is previously available of previous company or you can say as previous year. That time you can use this extract data. Extract in simple terms, you can say the snapshot taken of the data at particular point of time. Or also you can say a static data at some place. Now when at which scenarios it can be used. Suppose an example, if you're traveling on a plane with the tableau in your PC, and you have been given a work to analyze the data. So, but you don't have the analysis part, you don't have the data connection because the data is kept on some server or it is kept on some uh, cloud database system. So at that point of time, how it can be done? So it can be done, you can just pick up the data, pick up a snapshot of that data and pull into your Tableau. And you can sit and keep on analyzing the data in a very easy manner. So that is one method where you can use this extract or you can see as the static data itself. Let us see with, with the help of an example. I have created a, a sheet in that sheet I have added some data here so I will show you that file here yeah that's the excel file with some data the data file is all about the data sales done to particular customer on that particular date sales done to the customer on that particular date so I have added two different colors here if you observe this colors are the dates which belongs to 2017 this colors belongs to the date which is given as 2018 so the sales are done differently now, if I modify this data, it should be reflected into my tableau based on the connection which I have. The file, the name is extract data. You can download this file below this video. Now, let us see. First of all, I'll save this file. Save this file. And in the tableau, what I'll do is I'll connect to this data, same Excel file, pick up this extract data and click on open. Okay. So now this is selected here. So I'll pick up this extract data and I'll pull into this place. What connection do you want? Right now there are two connections, one is the live and second is the uh, extract data. So first of all, I'll select this live connection and I'll be keeping it as it is. And I'll go to this live versus extract sheet. Now I've got the dimensions and I've got the sales, that's the measure part which is given. So first of all, pick up the dates and second is you can pick up the sales into the text part. But the date, if you observe, it's given as 2017, 2018. I don't want the dates in this year manner. I don't want in the month or something else. But still, if you want to change, you can select this drop down, select the as the month you are getting as March and August. If I want the same dates which are written in the Excel file as DDMM, YY or any format, click on this drop down, select this option as more and select custom. So from this drop down, you can select the format which you want. So I'll select the option as month, day and year. Click on OK. Exact data which is given in the Excel file will be visible at this place. Now, if the font is very less, I'll first increase the font. Click on this drop down format. Click on this A that is the font, drop down, increase the font to 15 and I'll click on this close button here. Okay, so now it is visible and the data is also given here. Now, as I said, we are working on the live connection first. If I go and change in the Excel file, it should be reflected in the W. So first of all, I'll go to this file and here what I can do is 1-1-20-10 and here I'll type my name, here I'll type some number here. So I'll select this change the format of this data okay now it says 1 1 20 10 which is already passed now if i want to see that uh, changes in my tableau itself how do i do that first you enter the data and then click on this save button after you click on this save button you can go to your tableau itself okay if you see there's no 1 1 20 10 there's no data which is given how do i get the data you have to right click on this place and select the option as refresh if you click on refresh if you see the data which I've selected there, which I've added there will be visible at this place, January 1, 2010 and the data is added. So this is the benefit of using this live data. But second scenario, when you don't have the access to your database connection, how it will work. So that time you can just pull the option, pull the data into your place. So how do I pull it? You can just go to this data source, click on this extract button here. Now it says extract will include the entire data, whichever you have. So extract is included. Now if I go back to this place, live versus extract, Okay, in this place, if you see 21 August 2018, now if I add one more date there in my Excel file, let's say if I add as 1 1 2019, like this, if I change the format of this data and if I press Ctrl D and if I press Ctrl D here, now if you see I've added 1 1 2019, which is not in that database. So if I just press 
save if i click on the save button and if i go and see there if i want to re refresh there like this right click and if i see as refresh 2019 will not be added because we are working on the extracts part if you see 2019 is not added so how do i manage this so when you are directly connected with your data that time you can just pull this option you can just right click on this place and then you can select this option as extract and then you can say as refresh extracted data can be refreshed by using this method live data can be extracted or it can be refreshed by using this method itself now also if you observe the difference if you observe the difference between this data uh, there are two cylinders when it comes when you work on the extract data so if you see here there are two cylinders with a checkbox itself but if you go to this data source and now if you select this as live data okay and again if you go back to your sheet itself and if you see there is only one cylinder with a checkbox there are no two cylinders so the method to identify whether it's a live connection or extract connection can be using this method itself so i hope you're able to understand what's the difference between live connection and the extract connection that's all for this video